Hey gang, how are you doing? Jonathan here for Tailhunter Sport Fishing, and it's time once again for the Mexican Minute La Paz Video Fishing Report, and this is going to cover the fishing action for our Tailhunter Sport Fishing fleet in La Paz for the dates of the 24th of November until the 2nd of December 2022. Wherever you are, I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for checking in. Thank you for spending time with us, and please don't forget to do us a big favor. Give us a thumbs up a like and don't forget to subscribe okay uh let's talk about what's going on not a whole lot listen hope you had a great thanksgiving hope you spent it with family and friends and everything went well for us on the slow side you know we've come pretty much to the end of our season we consider if you've been listening to us from november to april is pretty much considered off season largely because of the wind so i'll bring that up once again in case you're a newcomer to the uh, reports that we have but november to april is off season because the winds can be very very strong can be very erratic and and that's pretty much what it was this past week and the coming week as well looks like the winds are going to be blowing 15 to 20 miles an hour coming out of the north makes it very very hard to fish and this is going to take place for pretty much most of the week and this past week i think we had four out of the seven days were like that so listen we did have some folks go out but we had to juggle things around fortunately they were flexible enough that we could find one of the days where the wind wasn't blowing so bad and i'll tell you what they they were kind of surprised me they caught Dorado. You know, it's late in the season. Dorado are a warm water fish. We had a fantastic Dorado season, but I really didn't expect much uh, in the way of Dorado to be around this late in the year. Most of the fish that we are catching, if anybody's even out, or the reports we're getting from the commercial guys are cold water species, Sierra, uh, Pargo, Amberjack, some yellowtail, rainbow runners, all cold water species of fish. To catch Dorado in November, December, that's pretty unusual, but the guys went out, got some, actually some fairly nice size 15 to 20 pound Dorado. Uh, they caught them on live bait, which is again, very, very unusual to catch at this time of the year because with all of the waves blowing on in some of the areas where we catch the bait it can be very very rough can be very very difficult to get the live bait so many times during the windier times of the year we're having to troll or use frozen baits but they had live bait surprisingly and they got into some dorado but other than that you know town's kind of slow except for the uh, the snowbirds that are in town at this time of the year it was a very very nice time to be in la paz i'll tell you what you know there are certain uh, celebrations that we have as Americans that are catching on in Mexico, Halloween being one of them, the other one, Valentine's Day I can think of, and the other one is Thanksgiving, although they just call, we just call it Dia de las Gracias, and it's a thankful day, it's not necessarily the same as what we consider in the U.S., but I'll tell you what, a lot of our Mexican friends are eating a lot of turkey, and everyone does go around wishing everyone a happy Thanksgiving and to be grateful for all the things that we have and all of the blessings. So it is catching on. A lot more people are eating turkey. You go to the market, and there's butterballs sitting right there in the frozen food section. So no shortage of turkeys in La Paz and, and many of the more popular places in Mexico. So that's catching on. In terms of what's coming up, like I said, the winds are going to be blowing this week. It's still a nice time to be down. Uh, air temperatures are going to be in the high 70s, low 80s during the daytime. Lots of sunshine for the most part. Some clouds may be coming in uh, middle of the week coming up. And night times are going to be high 60s, so very, very comfortable. A great time to come down to La Paz. Just, just not necessarily a great time to be on the water. We are getting a lot of reservations for next year. The phones have not quieted down. We're, we're quiet in terms of we're not being on the water right now. But uh, phones and the emails are coming in a lot. A lot of our clients, you know, we've been doing this for almost 30 years. A lot of our regulars all making reservations for next year. A lot of folks who returned from fishing trips in 2022. Immediately when they get home, they give us new dates because they want certain captains. They want certain hotels. They want certain hotel rooms. So they're also booking for next year. And then we had so many new people uh, this past year. Normally, I'll tell you what, you know, folks ask us all the time, but we probably have about 85% returnees on our friends and clients who come back to us. And we have maybe, uh, during, the, during the fishing year, maybe 20% are new folks. This past year, very, very different. We had probably 70% very brand new folks that we welcomed to our Tail Hunter Nation who came down to La Paz for the first time. And then maybe only like 30, 35% of our regular clients. This coming year, 
2023 getting a lot of bookings a lot of our regulars are coming back everybody's got covid fatigue they're tired of being home uh restrictions are down everything looks like it's back on track so a lot of reservations are coming in so listen the caveat i'm giving you is if you're planning to come down next year don't wait don't wait till we do our shows i'll be announcing that very very soon our show schedule for 2023 is going to be very very different than previous years we're not going to do as many shows for one thing a lot of those shows don't exist anymore or they're not the same format as they used to be the other thing is you know for three months jill and i are on the road and we drive 10 to 15,000 miles over those three months going from one city to the other city and back and forth and up and down you know with gas prices the way they are it's gonna be very very hard to drive 15,000 miles when we're you know in a suburban and having to fill up two or three times a day so we're having to adjust our schedule a little bit but the point being don't wait until we come to your city or next year if you know your schedule and you think you've got some inclination to come down next year, get in touch with us. Let's get you set up. The other thing, taking a lot of reservations for the whale watching season, which starts just about mid-January and goes till the middle of March. The whales are coming down from the Bering Sea. It's the largest migration of animals in the world. And these beautiful whales come down from the Bering Sea and they come down to three areas on the Baja Peninsula. Uh, and one of those is Bahia Magdalena, about five hours drive from La Paz. And from January to March, we do these whale watching trips in the shallow, warm waters of Bahia Magdalena. And it's not like being out in the open ocean. This is a quiet, uh, enclosed lagoon kind of area. And the whales come in there, they calve, they mate, they hang out in the warmer waters very shallow very very close to shore and i mean i'll tell you the last time we went i counted 50 whales that we saw and this is, isn't seeing them where you need binoculars very often the whales come right up to the boats you can actually touch some of the whales when they get really really close and it's a spectacular thing to to witness and to experience so listen if you think you'd like to do that get in touch with us as well once again that's january to about the middle of march uh, middle of January more or less it gives the animals time to come down and then to the middle of March so if you'd like to do some whale watching this coming winter 2023 please get in touch with us anyway that's going to do it for right now hope your holidays are going well Christmas is coming up end of the year you take care of each other God bless thanks for checking in uh, I'm Jonathan for the Mexican Minute we'll talk to you next week